In life, there comes a time when we all have to be realistic about things. We all just got to be honest and realistic about situations, even when we don't want to be realistic about it, when we want to believe the opposite. And this is a message to all power fans. Y'all, Ghost is never coming back to power. He's never returning. Omari Hardwick is not coming back to this series at all. Seriously, and I, I, I love the character of Ghost just as much as y'all do, or just as much as y'all did or do, rather. Right? He, was, he is one of the most iconic characters in TV history to me, right? Especially black television history, but TV history. If, if, if white folks watch Power more, they would be, um, what's the word I'm looking for? They would be captivated by Ghost, James St. Patrick, for sure, because he is up there. I don't care. Tony Soprano, any one of them, Ghost is up there with all of them characters for a protagonist of a show, without question. But the fact of the matter is, I don't think Omar Hardwick wants to be associated with anything power anymore. I don't think he has a great, re good relationship with Courtney Kemp. And then he made a comment, I think that 50 didn't like about, I forgot, was it about his pay or something like that? Something that he said, I forget what it was recently. He said something and 50 didn't really like what he had to say, you know, but you know, um, I really don't think he wants to be a part of the show anymore. And so he not going to come back, y'all. We just got to get over that as fans. We got to move past it. Uh, yes, it would be phenomenal to see him back in the show and for them to, to, I guess, bring him back in some type of way, but it ain't happening. I see people like, yo, so Ghost just not going to come back. Yo, he not making an appearance in his, um, the series finale for uh, Power Book 2 Ghost. He not going to be in the last episode, y'all. He not. Um, he not. I see people like, yo, he might. Ghost Mike could return in force. He ain't coming on Tommy Show Force. He ain't going. He not coming on there. So that's over with, right? I think the audience or the, the cast members like to speak as if he's coming back just to keep the fans on the edge of their seat, anticipating a he could possibly return so that they can stay, you know, intrigued with the show and enamored with a cause it's always like for real, Ghost being alive is like a big it's as big as a it's it's a big of conspiracy theory as Pac being alive. It's you know Elvis Presley being alive still. It is that it has gotten to that point that it is a conspiracy theory that is big that is as big as that. Tupac people thought Tupac was alive for the longest of time. Some people still think he's alive. That ghost is right up there with all of them. Elvis Presley, you see a ghost sighting. <laughs> like people, people be like, yo, ghost gonna come back. They gonna at least put ghosts as he, they gonna have him play his own father and raising Canaan. You know, they got the origin series that's coming out, right? Um, the origins that that um that will depict the upbringing of Tommy and a young James St. Patrick, right? People like, yo, Ghost gonna play uh, Mr. St. Patrick, you know, he gonna play the dad version of, you know, of he gonna play the dad on the show and, you know, while somebody else is playing a young him, like, nah, bro. <laughs> he not coming back, man. I just think he's just, he's not interested in the show like that anymore, man. And um, I think he's moved past it, but it's, it's crazy how he wants to kind of separate himself from the show at times because... That is the biggest role he's known for, y'all. That's the biggest role he's known for. Like, he's done other things outside of power, but we always remember him as James St. Patrick. That is his most impactful role. That is his role that, like, really etched him within the Holly, etched him into Hollywood. That role, we've seen him play other roles before, right? But this is the one that really made him a real household name, Omar Hardwick. People didn't know, people really didn't know Omari's name like that unless you just watch movies and watch, you know, you're a fan of just, I'm a person, I'm a fan of knowing people's names, the cast members' names, I am, but a lot of people aren't like me, but he became a household name on power, without question, and I think he, yeah, man, like, hey, man, even if you don't get along with Courtney Kemp, that show made you a household name, it gave you, like, not legitimacy, because he was always a legitimate actor, but it gave him enough screen time for people to see, yo, you are a leading man in Hollywood. You could be a leading man. And so I feel like you should embrace that. But we as fans got to recognize James ain't never coming back, y'all. <laughs> he never coming back, unfortunately. We wanted it to come back. when. Remember when Tariq had got high off that stuff and he was having them hallucinations? 
I thought, I remember they were showing a snippet of Tariq being in Club Truth. And I thought Ghost was going to come around the corner. And when it didn't happen then, I saw it's over with. It's done. It's a wrap. Like, he ain't never coming back. I didn't think he was coming back in the first place. But when I saw, like, the snippet of the, the season, uh, you know, the, what's the word I'm looking for? The season premiere, right? And you saw, like, the, 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 you saw Tariq, the preview of Tariq sitting in Club Truth. Dressed in a suit like Ghost and all of that. I'm like, damn, Ghost finna come back? That's what that, I didn't never thought about it to the end. But when he didn't come back and we saw, I forget who came around the corner. Was it himself or something? Another version of himself? It was just weird. You know what I mean? That whole dream of him getting high and all of that. But anyway, he not coming back, y'all. He not. He not. That's like trying, it's gonna be like trying to uh, tell Michael Jordan fans that Michael Jordan never coming back no more. They ain't trying to hear that. Same way y'all going when they tell me LeBron ain't coming back no more. I'm like, damn, Joe, what? It's like hearing Tom Brady ain't Tom Brady is done. He ain't coming back. He's never, never coming back. <laughs> but what James, what uh, Omari Hardwick did with that character will be cemented forever. His legacy is signed, sealed, and delivered with that. Um, that show. Like his character, man, I really want to see, I always say this, I want to see white reactors. Because white folks don't on white reaction channels don't really watch black movies and black shows like that. They really don't. It's, it's a rarity, especially for the really, really popular white reacting channels. Like when I say white reactors, white people who react to, to, to content, react to TV shows and movies. A lot of them don't really react to black shows. It's very, very rare when they're really popular. I just saw, what is it, Cinep House, what's, what's, what's his name, Jabby and them, they was reviewing, uh, they were looking at Tyler Perry movies, which is very, like, dope to see, like, yo, y'all looking at some real black movies, man, and y'all, they really enjoy, like, Diary of a Mad Black Woman, Medea's Family Reunion, um, uh, what else did they watch, uh, I feel like they watched something else, too, and I, it's losing my mind, they just watched The Color Purple, I know, I just, I didn't watch the reaction, but, yeah, like, I believe if white reactors react to the uh, TV show Power, they would put James St. Patrick up there with, um, what's his name? James Gandolfini, what's his name? What's the, the guy that played, um, uh, who did I just say, man? Tony Soprano. Um, the one who played Tony Soprano, I believe they would really be like, yo, this is an iconic character. He is killing it in this role because he absolutely, he, he killed it without question. But y'all, he ain't coming back. I'm sorry. We got to move forward. <laughs> like, if they do another series, Omari can come in and he can play his cousin. He can play his brother. He can play the stepbrother. He can play, you know, uh, Tariq, you know, uh, other uncle on his mama's side. <laughs> he could play, you know, Tasha's uh, brother. He could play uh, James St. Patrick, long lost uh, brother who got adopted at birth. And he can be Tariq uncle. Um... Uh, Lane St. Patrick. <laughs> like, what the hell, man? Anyway, man, Machiavelli Mills TV. I'm out. Peace.